And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miss Dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches.
The following contest is a no disqualifications match and is for the WWE Underground Heavyweight Championship. That music can mean only one thing, it's Buzz! I caught up with Buzz earlier today, and he told me about the time he skipped school to attend a WWE event. That's how passionate he was, and still is, about sports entertainment. When he said he skipped school, did he mean all of it? I mean, that's the vibe I got. Introducing the challenger. I can't believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think it's kind of nice to see Ouch. Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his turn. I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. Next breaker. Harsh impact. What a stop. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. As we say in the trade. Look out. 
Guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this. He's got him covered. Bonus with the easy kick out. Now yeah, this early, no chance. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make the case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. And with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. You gotta believe this one's over. The challenger's taking on some offense. So much on the line here in the match for him. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> but he's got to capitalize now. Uh-oh, this might be the end of Elias tonight. And maybe not. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Incoming. Here we go. We knew this was coming. From behind. Down with a neck breaker. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Stay down, man. Buzz have in store. We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, what impact. Nice. Shut it down. The champion into the cover. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this. <laughs> no person could take much more of this. Elias is not looking good. There's a good tip. The champion into the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? There is no quit in this man tonight. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Beautiful Tope Atomico. Nicely done. This might be it. Oh, my. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think. No what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. He goes for the cover. Retains the title. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights.
Oh, I can't believe this. Check him out here. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And here's the last look at this one. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Underground Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Rage Barnett. Well, that one was over before it even started. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off. One-on-one. -on -one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and The Miztourage will be banned for ringside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations. Which means it will be a no DQ match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Introducing the champion from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds. He is the WWE Underground Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Rage Barnett.
I spoke to Buzz today, and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. And introducing the champion, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. Go ahead, Corey, tell us all. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B-Show to the show A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is that... Yeah, we're coming. Here we go, Buzz's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a no-DQ match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made-up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because, like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to our wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Ooh. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. This might be it. Oh, my. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Ooh, what impact. Oh, it's over. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. He's in trouble. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Harsh impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy. 
in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh boy, he is rolling. A second time. Beautiful technique. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. It took two, but it looks like that one should do the trick. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He can't take much more. Gives new meaning to have a seat. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the books. Shoulders down! Buzz with the easy kick out. Nah, uh, not yet. Too early. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. When this guy's on, look out. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Near oh, my impact. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Over and over and over. How many times are we going to see it? He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. What is that? Stop. Mommy wants you. Mommy. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. You know, this is just one of those matches you want to sit back, relax, and just take it in. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Six. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. He's not going to like this. He's almost got him. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. This 
this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, shows no mercy. in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place... What does Buzz have in store? We're, we're about to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it! Nailed it! Just when you thought he had nothing left. I get it. It's a cool move. But again, really? What does Buzz have in store? We're, we're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh. <laughs> now that's how you successfully defend your title. The Miz got the champion into the cover. The champion retains. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Look at him go. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't playing here. I really enjoyed every minute of this. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title, and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. Hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H will just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. Hey, champ. Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. And it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my texts, because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. 
Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT SmackDown and Raw Tag Team titles? Oh, I know. Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. He you read it off my notes. Fair point. Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment you that was. the news. The superstar known as Buzz is here. Every superstar has a goal in WWE, and Buzz told me he's aiming high with his. He wants to have a career that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is definitely trending in the right direction for that to at least be possible. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. <laughs> Introducing the champion from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Nathan Rage Barnett. If you would think about moving, you'd better apologize.
What did you guys think of Buzz's Ugh. decision to keep the Intercontinental title rather than his custom title? I mean, it was a no-brainer. Do you want a prestigious title that guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels once held? Or do you want a self-awarded, made-up title that has no history? I wish he could have kept both titles, but I respect Kurt Angle's decision. At least Buzz will always have his title as a keepsake. Nonetheless, that decision won't matter at all if Buzz slips up tonight and Jason Jordan walks away with the championship. What a stomp! Good grief! You gotta believe this one's over! Challenger starting to slow down a bit here. He may the trying. champion into the cover. And Jason Jordan getting the shoulder up too soon. He has him right where he wants him. He doesn't look too eager to get up. And I don't blame him. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Oh, oh face first! Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Look out! He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Now, the challenger not in a great place. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, it's going for the big one. And Jason Jordan reverses it. Ooh, what impact. The champ's starting to stumble a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back. Jason Jordan is looking to end this right now. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end and got nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Oh, me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Look at this. And Jason Jordan getting the shoulder up. Gonna take a whole lot more. When this guy's on, look out. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course. Though. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. He's going to do it. I know anything is possible, but I just can't endure oh, That's the impact. Now that's how you successfully defeat the champion into the cover. And you could put this singles match in the books. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Look at him go. And here's the last piece of the puzzle.
You think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz now? Real classy, Byron. What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed on the ground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs>